Hi, I'm OZ Hall, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. This series is on the Korg Electribe 2 sampler. It's not a new design, but I recently acquired one, and as I'm learning to use it, I wanted to share the solutions to the technical hurdles that I encountered trying to make music with it. This is episode number... So let's get started. So we've got a pattern on the Electribe sampler and how are we controlling that external module? The answer is through MIDI out. There are three requirements for making that connection. Number one, we have to have a physical connection. Number two, we've got to have a source for the MIDI messages and that would be the sampler. And number three, we've got to have a module that will respond to those MIDI messages and that would be the Korg WaveStation SR. So let's look at the physical connection first. This adapter right here will convert a 3.5 millimeter stereo output from the MIDI out on the Electribe 2 sampler and it will physically change that to a standard MIDI connector which is a 5 pin DIN connector. That 5 pin DIN connector will then connect to a standard MIDI cable and I'll plug it back in one two three is the MIDI out and on the back of the WaveStation SR we've plugged that cable into the MIDI input port so that's the physical connection as I said, the sampler is what's sending out the MIDI messages. Let me mute out all the other parts except for part one. We'll go to the trigger mode for the pads and I'm going to press this button and when I do it's going to send a note on message out to the WaveStation SR and it's going to play the drum loop and when I let go of it, it's going to send a note off message and that's going to cut the loop off. One other thing is that the clock comes from the Electribe 2 sampler and the clock goes through the MIDI connection out to the WaveStation SR to keep the two synchronized. And that's the fundamental setup. I'm using the USB out to go to a computer and on the right hand side of the screen you can see the display for the MIDI monitor in the MIDI aux program which runs on the Windows PC. I've got the keypad set to trigger mode and you can see that we're currently accessing part one. If we go to part mute we have all five of these channels activated. If we go to keyboard, as soon as I press this key, we're going to see a note on message. And as soon as I release it, we'll see a note off message. I have the MIDI clock set to external USB so that you can't see the MIDI clock. And I'm going to switch that to internal. And now you can see in yellow the MIDI clock messages. By the way, I'm in the Globals menu on page 3 of 20 for clock mode 
and I'm switching between internal and external USB for the clock. We're looking at the display of the Korg WaveStation SR. One of the utilities in this module is a MIDI status and all it's going to do is show whenever there's any kind of activity on any of the 16 channels. So if I press pad 4 on the Electribe sampler, it's going to transmit on MIDI channel 4 and we'll hear it and we'll see the display showing activity on channel 4. So if we play the entire sequence, And the reason I show this to you is to show you that all of this MIDI information is traveling across the MIDI cable. So the question becomes, why isn't the WaveStation SR responding to anything but channel 1? And the answer is because we're in performance mode. If we were in multi-mode, and I'll switch, and Lord only knows what this is going to sound like, we would get kind of a mess because I haven't set it up and I'm going to turn off the volume on the Electribe sampler. And that completes the configuration for driving this WaveStation SR from the Electribe 2 sampler. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and consider subscribing for more content like this in this series. 